30 years ago, when you had a blockage in your heart, it often meant open heart surgery. Today, we have innovative approaches that allow patients to leave the hospital within 24 hours. Interventional cardiology is a group of procedures that are performed on your heart using a small incision and a thin flexible tube called a catheter. Through the catheter, interventional cardiologists are able to enter blood vessels to diagnose heart disease, as well as repair damaged vessels or other structures, often without the need for surgery. Traditionally, these incisions are made in your hip area, at the bend where your hip is flexed. More recently, doctors have been using an even smaller incision on your wrist. This new technique, called transradial catheterization, gives you less pain, reduced risk of bleeding, and less discomfort. It will allow you to sit up immediately after the procedure. I did not feel any pain. I was wide awake, talking to the doctor, talking to the nurses. And you can see that little dart, that's what's left over. And a few hours after the procedure, the nurse took the bandage off, put a new bandage on it. Adventist Healthcare Washington Adventist Hospital performs more than 40% of our cardiac catheterization procedures using the transradial approach, which is more than twice the national average. We're also the first training center in Maryland for this procedure. Physicians from around the country come here to learn from our cardiologists. After your transradial procedure, you're brought to our state-of-the-art radial recovery lounge. Here we have specialized lounge chairs that allow you to rest and recover upright in a comfortable home-like setting with soothing atmosphere. They had a recliner, so I could sit and recline it with my feet up like, like I was a king, or I could get in bed, or I could walk around. The nurses are just out of this world. They're like angels. They check on you almost too much. I would strongly recommend if anybody's having chest pains, like I was having chest pains, get in an ambulance and come to Washington Adventist Hospital 